swap out of a 2015 Yamaha SVHO clutch and uh, this is for the supercharger I'm just gonna show you how to do the install and uh, some of the things that go on go wrong with this um, this is the brand new clutch that's what it looks like it's the part number Yamaha and uh, this is the updated bolt it's got a bigger hole in it that's the uh, part number for the uh, bigger bolt so uh, this is what the clutch looks like when it's broken down big snap ring you just have to uh, press this piece out you can see uh, there's like pitting on the bearing surface here and these cages had uh, all types of uh, metal and material in there They're showing signs of wear um, this one was not producing boost I should be seeing 21 pounds of boost I was only seeing like 15 pounds of boost with this so this clutch is uh, worn out so you can see some of the wear in there so this this clutch actually only has uh, 19 hours on it but I ride pretty rough with it so these are some of the basic tools you're gonna need uh, pick up some diapers you're good to keep your hull clean so uh, some basic tools everything's metric uh, I guess we'll get started on ripping it down uh, this is a uh, 2015 FX Cruiser SVHO. Um, fast as it's gone is 86 miles an hour. We're uh, trying for 88, so we'll get started and uh, rip it down. First thing we gotta do is take off the supercharger. So taking the upper J pipe off for the uh, charger intercooler. Pull off the uh, Riva air intake. That's uh, going to be three clamps. Uh, I have mine hooked up to Canaflex, so I just have a hose I got to unhook in the front. This is a great tool. It's made by Milwaukee. M12, it's great for just breaking these down and putting them back together.
that's what it looks like inside. That's the supercharger right there. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna be pulling that off next. So, give me a couple minutes. Three 12 millimeters you gotta take out, and then you got three 10 millimeters you gotta take out. comes the supercharger. Make sure you pick up some uh, these absorbent pads. These right here to catch the uh, oil you're going to lose when you start taking this apart. Maybe a little bit of oil. These pads they pick up the oil and not the water, so it's a good thing. But that's what it looks like while it's. Part. And uh, this has a little sponginess in it, if you see. That's how you can tell that the clutch is not good. It should be rock solid. It shouldn't have any rock in it. So, there's some sponginess in it. It's probably on its way out if not working. So. jack the front of the boat up as high as you
boat on a pretty good angle. As you can see, it's tilted up pretty good. So let's make sure the uh, oil runs to the back of the oil pan. Uh, you got a 12 millimeter here for the oil line. Got an eight millimeter here. It's just a clamp for the uh, oil line. Pull that off. And on the other side, right here. Here's another 12 millimeter oil line. Make sure you don't lose the, uh, the washers, you need both of those. Okay, so now we've got to take all these Allen bolts off all the way around. Take the Allens off. I think there's like 16 of them all the way around. And uh, then the cover will come off.
dual five millimeter Allen keys. So. There's one that actually goes through the center of the case as a hole. You gotta make sure you get that one. All right, guys, so you're going to lose a little oil when you uh, do this, so make sure your, your pads are tucked under. Oil is going to come out. And whatever you replace, just whatever you lose, just replace with the uh, in the dipstick. So this is just going to rock right out. You can see a little oil came out.
So you can see the little bit of oil you lost. So there's a there's a shaft in here that we got to pull out next. So that's what we're gonna do next. Just grab a magnet, stick it in the end, move the shaft. I'll pull the pin out a little bit. And then walk the shaft out. Once you walk the shaft out, then you can pull the gear out. That's the gear. Inside here, there's a little collar you got to get out. With the ski tilted, it will walk out on its own, so make sure you don't lose it into the oil pan. Make sure you got it. That's it right there. So. And that goes in from this side, not the other side. Now, for the uh, crank bolt, which is down there, the, uh, the the bolt that holds it on, it's a left-handed thread, so you got to make sure uh, you go, you turn clockwise to take it off. I'm going to use an impact gun, but they uh, they make a tool that you can use to hold it, take it off. And off. Gonna get it off. Oh, there's the bolt. Has the oil passageway that runs through it. the clutch out. There you go, there's the clutch. Okay, let's go over to the table, take a look at it, compare the two. side. New one feels very positive. Old one has a little mushiness to it. So new one has no rock whatsoever. So what we're going to do is, new one with a new bolt, so you take the new one, stole it on, you're going to uh, take a little Yama Lube, and we're going to put a little Yama Lube inside it.
right there. Take a little bit of yama loop and pour it inside the bag. bit in there works its way right through spinning around gets it all inside well I'm just gonna take the shaft take the uh, gear stall it right on the shaft new gear does not move whatsoever there is no sponginess in it whatsoever So we're going to install the new left-handed thread bolt. Just put some oil on it. 